Ladies and gentlemen, one of our local poets is now going to entertain you. Uh, we love having him here, so I want you to give him a massive round of applause and then be quiet. But Tim Bleasdale, come on! Thank you, uh, now for something completely different. Uh, that was great, what a band, um, the dogs, something. Uh, it was kind of like um, shamanic rock or something like this. But uh, yeah, really, really good stuff. Um, so I got one poem for you, so I'm going to do, but first I've got a little bit of good news. The Oxford English Dictionary have just accepted one of my words. Yes. As a wordsmith, uh, this is quite a celebration for me. The words that they've accepted, something I've been trying to describe for a long time, but I came up with this word of uh, psychotromediatized. And there's three versions psychotromediatized, psychotromediatized, and psychotromediatization. And it means uh, a word to describe the condition of a person or people or population that have had their consent manufactured by the medical and media industrial complex, mostly through the television for an experimental procedure as part of a covert psycho-spiritual warfare operation upon a civilian population for depopulation, sterilization, and business purposes. Yes. <laughs> So uh, some examples of this are, uh, she was psychotromediatized into having an experimental vaccination. They agreed that it was in the best business interest to psychotromediatize a civilian population. It seemed to be the psychotromediatization of a planetary population. So, yes, uh, have a look next time you're on English uh, Dictionary for that word, and that was me. You made that word. So thanks. <laughs> right, we're gonna get to a poem now. So uh, the truth is a weird thing, right? Uh, but there is a truth we can all agree on. And about 16 years ago, I kind of started asking myself, well, I don't really trust the government. And when in the history of time has it been a good idea to trust governments? Mm, never. So uh, from then to, from 16 years ago to kind of now, I'm trying to figure it all out. And um, I figured it all out. And not all of it, because fucking truth is infinite, right? So uh, it's never going to know it all. Uh, but the bit I did kind of comprehend, I put into a poem. And the poem is called um, The Harvesting of the Proletarian Plantation. Um, and it goes like this. Beaming in from multi-dimensional infinite space on behalf of the Galactic Federation of Light here to liberate the human race we have picked our weapons of choice the art of truth, music, poetry and the human voice because in the beginning, in the beginning, in the beginning was the word the truth, truth, the truth the truth will be fictionalized and turned into an infotainment BBC Channel 4 Netflix lies. Our habits and opinions are consciously and intelligently habitualized and all thoughts are homogenized and supervised and when all working hours and cash is digitalized, all you'll need to function is a four-digit pin code memorized until they put a chip into your third eye. As the corporate lamestream media whores continue the daily time as art of dehumanization and the psychopathic scientific elite harvest democracy's proletarian plantation for the business profits of the one world corporation, let's not talk about vaccination, depopulation, sterilization, as perfect lies in disguise like apocalyptic lullabies and a planetary population is Hypnotized into a voluntary genocide, a complex yet simple situation that could be described as a covert psycho spiritual warfare operation upon a sleepy, sleepy civilian population as they lay the foundations for the next set of seven generations into a cybernetic, electromagnetic, techno transgeric, totalitarian tolerance takeover, makeover, Japanese white clover. Coffee through. Well done for, for being so attentive so far.
As the lamestream corporate media whores continue their daily time as art of dehumanization and plant a thought virus so deep in their minds it makes it almost impossible to find God, sovereign, free, divine, or any navigation of a celestial kind. As we ride wave upon wave upon wave upon wave, and 1984 meets the Matrix, meets Plato's cave. But don't worry, because those who can be saved will be saved, so you better just be good and behave. And follow the message, not the messenger, perfect children alike. Because we're the keys to each other, there's no need to fight. So fall in love with yourself in the freedom of a perfect storm. Because every night you're going to die. So every morning you can be reborn uh, with the revolution. Haven't you heard the revolution? On the wings of a golden bird, the revolution. Well, I'm just getting prepared to be one, to be one, to be one with the word truth. Thank you. Have a good night.